Hello, dear students. This is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 11, mathematical application in business. Today, we will focus on ordinary annuity and depreciation. So, after completing this lesson, you are expected to calculate future value of ordinary annuity and solve problems related to depreciation. So let's continue to the lesson. Ordinary annuity is, it is a series of equal payments made at the end of consecutive periods over a fixed length of time. Maybe, for example, you may seriously deposit a certain amount of money monthly. So we call that uh, ordinary annuity. So, uh, to calculate the future value of an ordinary annuity, uh, we use this formula. The future value of ordinary annuity is given by this formula, where this is, it is the future value of the annuity, and this one is the regular deposit, and I is interest rate per period. This N is this number of periods. So you'll have this one, where R is it is a periodic payment, and or maybe it is a periodic deposit. Uh, and here, I is this interest rate per period. I is given by R over M, where R is this the interest rate per year. This M is this a conversion uh, factor. If it is monthly, the conversion factor it is 12. If it is quarterly, the conversion factor will be this 4 and so on. And n is it is it is the number of periods it is given by it is the conversion factor times time where time is in year. And the amount of interest of this ordinary annuity is given by this formula. The interest is given by uh, the future value of annuity minus the regular deposit times the number of period of deposit. So when you multiply this, you calculate uh, the amount of deposit. And this one is the future value of the annuity. So if you take the difference, uh, you will get the interest. So let's see example for this one. Here we have Elizabeth deposits per 350 as the end of every month into a saving account that pays an interest rate of 12% per year compounded monthly. So how much money is in her account at the end of five years? And what is the amount of interest? So let's see this. Here, this 350 is this a monthly deposit. So uh, we have R to be 350 per it is a regular deposit. And the interest rate per year is given to be this 12%. So I have to convert this to I. I is given by the interest rate per year divided by the conversion factor. Since the interest is compounded monthly, monthly the conversion factor is it is 12. So you divide this by 12 and you get 0.01%. So, and T is five years. You are asked to find the amount of money at the end of five years. So, T is five years. I have to convert to the number of periods. So, you multiply this five by the conversion factor. So, five times 12 gives you 60. So, we have 60 periods. So, using the formula, you will have this one. The future value of annuity is given by the regular deposit times 1 plus the i to the power of n minus 1 over i. So this is equal to uh, the regular deposit is 350 uh, times 1 plus i is 0 0.01, the power of 60 minus 1 divided by 0 0.01. When you evaluate this, you will have this one, uh, 28 thousand five hundred eighty four point three eight bill. 
to calculate the interest you will use this formula interest is given by the future value of annuity minus the total deposit the total deposit given by uh, regular deposit times the number of pairs of deposit so uh, this equal to the future value of annuity we have calculated here it is 28,584.38 minus the total number of deposit is uh, you deposit 350 regularly for 60 periods, so you multiply this. So finally, you will have this one. When you uh, solve this, when you simplify this, you will have 7584.38. So this is the interest. Now let's continue to the next part. Depreciation. Uh, before depreciation, let's see some terms. Uh, asset. Asset is it is any physical thing. It may be tangible or intangible, like patents, copyrights, and goodwill that have many value. So this asset it has many value, tangible or intangible uh, quantity that has many value. Uh, we call it is asset. We call it asset. So we have two groups of asset: plant asset. Uh, and current asset. So first let's see current asset. Current asset or financial asset. This current asset or financial asset it is it's a cash and other asset that may reasonably be expected to be recognized in a cash or sold or consumed within one year or less. Within one year or less through the normal operation of the business, uh, we call current asset or financial asset. Plant asset, or we call it fixed asset, is this a tangible asset, tangible asset used in business and not held for sale, not held for sale in the ordinary course of the business operation that are of permanent or relatively fixed in nature. For example, if you take equipment, it is it's a plant asset. Uh, and if you take machinery, uh, buildings, and so on, these are, we call them, fixed asset. So let's continue to the next part. Now let's see what depreciation is. Depreciation is is a decrease in the usefulness of an asset with uh, the passage of time. When a certain material, its usefulness decreases throughout the time. So we call this depreciation. The estimated value of an asset after it is useful life is over is called scrap value or salvage value. So after it is useful, time is over, it have a certain value. The asset will have a certain value. That value we call it is salvage value or scrap value. Book value. Book value of an asset is an item's value after accounting for depreciation or in short, Book value is simply it is the difference between cost and accumulated depreciation. So let's see the methods of calculating depreciation. We have different methods of calculating depreciation. Here we'll see two methods, fixed installment method uh, and reducing balance method. Let's see first the fixed installment method or we call this straight line method of determining depreciation. So in this method uh, the depreciation allows for equal periodic charges to expense over the estimated life of 
that's it it means it allocates the depreciation amount equal for every year throughout the life of the equipment throughout the life of the material maybe so under this method the depreciation is charged evenly every year throughout the economic life of the asset so the periodic depreciation charge of an asset is expressed as depreciation using straight line method is given as cost minus salvage value divided by estimated life so let's see example for this office furniture was purchased on september 30 2013 for bill 2020 the salvage value of the furniture is bill 250 and the estimated life is 10 years so what is the book value at the end of 2016 using the fixed installment method or straight line depreciation method now let's proceed to the answer here the cost is given it is 2020 and the salvage value is given to be it is 250 bill and the estimated life of this equipment is given to be 10 years so applying the formula you will have this one the depreciation per year uh, it is given by cost minus salvage value divided by estimated life so this equal to 2020 minus 250 salvage value is 250 divided by the estimated life is 10 so you will have this one the depreciation rate per year will be it is when you evaluate this one you get 177 bill per year this is a depreciation rate per year so to find the book value we need to have the accumulated depreciation here uh, if you count the year the material was purchased on september 30 2013 so for 2013 we have we have three menses so we need to calculate the depreciation for these three menses and next to that the depreciation will be for 2014 15 and 16 we have three years and three menses so because of this we have the depreciation rate per year here so i need to find the depreciation rate for mens also so uh, i need to convert this to per mens to convert this to per mens, you divide this one by 12. So you will have this one. The depreciation uh, of this per mens uh, will be this 177 divided by 12. It gives you it gives you 14.75 bill per mens. So the accumulated depreciation for three months and three years will be equal to for three months the depreciation rate per month is this 14.75 so we have three months you multiply by three since the depression is the same throughout months and for the remaining three years the depreciation rate is this 177 per year so uh, the depreciation rate is, is the same throughout the year therefore you multiply 177 by 3 so the accumulated depreciation on this time interval uh, will be equal to it is 575.25 this uh, accumulated depreciation as the end of uh, 2016 next to this we need to find book value to find book value what to do is simply you subtract the accumulated depreciation from the original cost so you'll have this one book value is equal to cost minus the accumulated depreciation so this is equal to the cost of the material of the furniture is 2020 minus the accumulated depreciation on this time interval it is 575.25 
So when you subtract this, you get uh, 1,444.75. This is the book value of this material at the end of 2016. So let's continue to the next part. The next part is reducing balance method. The reducing balance method, or we call it this declining balance method, yields a declining periodic depreciation charge over estimated life. In this case, the depreciation every year is not equal. The name indicates it is it's a reducing balance or declining balance method. So, of uh, several declining techniques, we have double declining balance uh, method. So, double declining balance method, to use this one, we have a formula for double declining balance method. So, in this method, the annual depreciation uh, percentage rate is given by 200% divided by estimated life. So, we'll have example for this. A company machine is purchased for per 4,000. The expected life is 4 years. Use double reducing balance meter to prepare a depreciation schedule. So, first I need to find the depreciation percentage rate per year. The depreciation rate percentage is given by this equation. 200% divided by estimated life. 200% divided by the estimated life, here it is given to be 4 years. So when you divide this, you will have 50%. Now, next to this, we can calculate the depreciation of this material every year using this percentage. So, let's see the answer in tabular form. At the beginning of year 1, its book value, it is 4,000 bir. It is 4,000. So, in this year, the depreciation amount will be, it is a depreciation rate. It is given, we calculated here, it is 50%. Uh, that means it is 0 0.5. So, the depreciation at the end of this year will be, it is the product of the two. The depreciation rate is 50%. So, or multiplying these two, you get 2,000. It depreciates by 2,000. So, the accumulated depreciation here is only the first year's depreciation. You will have 2,000. And the book value, the book value is simply it is the difference between the original cost minus the accumulated depreciation. So, original cost is it is for thousand and the accumulated depreciation it is two thousand their difference gives you two thousand so the book value as the int of the first year will be it is two thousand next for the next year the depreciation will be computed on the second year's book value the second at the beginning of second year you will have two thousand 2000 bir. So this 2000 will depreciate by 50%. So the depreciation will be this. When you multiply this to 0.5 by 2000, you get 1000. This is it. And the accumulated depreciation will be uh, the sum of the depreciation of the first year and the second year. So when you add these two, 2000 plus 1000, you get 3,000. Get 3,000. So, uh, the book value at the end of the second year will be simply it is the original cost minus the accumulated depreciation. The original cost is 4,000. The accumulated depreciation is 3,000. The difference gives you it is 1,000. So, the book value at the end of uh, the second year will be 1,000. So, this will be uh, the book value of the material at the beginning of the third year. So, at the beginning of the third year, you will have 
1,000. So this 1,000 will depreciate by 50%. So 50% 50 of 1,000 uh, gives you this 500. So the accumulated depreciation is the sum of the depreciation of the first year, second, and third. So when you add the first year depreciation is 2,000, second, 1,000, third, it is 500. So when you add this, you get 3,500. This is the accumulated depreciation uh, for the three years. So to find the book value at the end of the third year, you will simply take the difference between the original cost and the accumulated depreciation. The original cost it is 4,000 minus the accumulated depreciation is 3,500. When you take the difference, you will have 500. You will have 500. So this will be the book value for the beginning of fourth year. So as the beginning of fourth year, its book value is 500. This 500 depreciate by the rate of 50%. So when you multiply these two, you get 250. This is a depreciation for fourth year. And then the accumulated depreciation will be the sum of the depreciation for the four years, 2,000, 1,000, 500, and 250. When you add this, you get 3,750. So the book value at the end of four year will be this is the difference between the original cost and the accumulated depreciation. The original cost is 4,000. The accumulated depreciation is this. 3750 so when you take the difference you will have 250 therefore uh, this is it is a depreciation schedule of this material so this is it uh, to summarize what we have seen today the future value of ordinary annuity is given by this formula s is equal to the or the future value of annuity is equal to regular deposit times 1 plus interest rate the power of period minus 1 over the interest rate per period. So depreciation means it is simply it is the decrease in the usefulness of an asset with passage of time. And the estimated value of an asset after its useful life is over is called salvage value or scrap value. Book value is simply given by the difference between cost and accumulated depreciation. And the periodic depreciation charge of an asset for straight line method is given by this equation. Depreciation rate per year is equal to cost minus salvage value divided by estimated life. Try or do these exercises, exercise 11.5 and exercise 11.6 on page 448 and 452 respectively. This is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture class, goodbye.